I am speaking out today on International Women's Day in honour of the great women who have come before me. Women who have fought for and sacrificed their lives for the rights of women. Although much has been done and continues to be done to empower women and children, there is not a country in the world where women and children are free from sexual violence. I believe in a world free from sexual violence. And I know in my heart for this to happen, men, women and children need to feel safe and supported in speaking out. 10 months ago, my daughter reported being sexually abused to the police and social services. These services failed to support my daughter and safeguard other children at risk. In July of last year, we told officers my daughter had been abused by a ring of men that included teachers and a police officer. Instead of investigating these serious allegations, the police and social services began a campaign of bullying and harassment against me and my daughter. While ignoring serious crimes of sexual abuse, rape, domestic abuse, harassment, breaking and entering, and intimidation, the police instead decided to pursue a case against me, naming my daughter's abusers as victims. My crimes have been supporting my daughter to stay in contact with her siblings and speaking out about the corruption we have faced. On Friday of last week, my daughter and I spoke with two female detectives and for the first time in 10 months, we felt heard. These police officers arranged a video interview for me and a plan to support my daughter in being able to speak to them further. I trust these women and I believe they would carry out a thorough investigation. I have fought hard for this to happen. I have fought hard for me and my daughter to be heard. When all this began, I made my daughter a promise. I promised her that her voice matters and I wouldn't rest until she was heard. But I see now this is not enough. I know there are many more women and children who have been abused and silenced by those in power. It is not enough for my daughter and I to be heard while others are silenced. I believe in a world where all victims of abuse are heard, empowered and supported on their healing journey. I will use my voice to champion this vision. I will use my voice to speak out for change. And I will use my voice to support the rights of all women and children. I recognise the truth that no woman is free until all women are free. My daughter and I won't be working with the police to get justice for ourselves. We cannot work with a police force we know is corrupt to the core. We will not condone the actions of a police force that have harassed and silenced us. I believe our truth will come out, but we will not compromise our values for this to happen. If we are to live in a world free from sexual violence, the promise I made my daughter that her voice matters must be felt by every man, woman and child. This is my hope. 
I envision a day where future generations will be able to grow up free from the fear and pain of sexual abuse. I believe in the power of love and I believe in the power of unity. I believe in the power of healing for those who have been abused and those who have abused. I know the truth that no human being is born evil or with hate in their heart. The men who abused me and my daughter learnt to do what they did. More than likely, victims themselves at one time. If we are to shift from a society where rape and sexual abuse are normal, we need to work with and show compassion to both the abused and the abuser. I believe many abusers were themselves victims of childhood trauma and abuse. They too suffered living in a world where they felt they were unable to speak out. To break these cycles of abuse, to protect our children and the most vulnerable in our society, it is essential that together we create a world where every man, woman and child feels safe to speak out about rape and sexual abuse and that they can receive the help, love and support to heal. Together we rise.